Hey guys, welcome back to Ivy Crypto. Hope you are all having a fantastic day. Now, of course, I've been smashing out the Cardano videos on the channel lately, and today I want to talk about the top three, or well, my top three Cardano Launchpad platforms. Now, guys, this is not financial advice, and I am not a financial advisor. This is just my opinion on Cardano. Now, there's a fair few launch pads on Cardano, but I picked OkenFi, Card Starter, and Trustpad. Now, OkenFi and Cardstarter are pretty well established, as is Trustpad, but I just wanted to talk about these ones specifically and tell you the reasons why I believe these are the top ones. Now, I briefly talked about OkenFi in my top five Cardano overall projects, as I do find this one quite interesting. Now, at the time of this video, guys, now bearing in mind some of these are pre-recorded as I do, I'm going away for work this week. But at the time of this video, currently trading at $9.31, which to be honest with you, obviously is a good entry point because it is down from its all-time high over here where it peaked at about $16, but I think it's got a lot of potential. And obviously when there's dips, I do recommend that is a good time to get into projects. Don't get into these projects when they're absolutely peaking and you get FOMO. Never, ever do that. Even if they're a bit in the green, that's okay. But OkenFi is a really interesting one. It's Cardano's smart DeFi layer. Now, what I like about this one is that it's complete fundraising. So OkenRaiser is the first complete launchpad solution for Cardano ecosystem. It's accommodating a vast range of fundraising profiles. OkenRaiser will be the key that unlocks the Cardano ecosystem's liquidity. Now, they've done some really cool projects and I have personally invested in some of these. And I like the platform. I think it's easy to use. I think that it's easy for for projects that are doing IDOs. And I think it's pe it's good for people that are investing in the projects. And OkenFi doesn't just do launch pads. So it's a total suite of DeFi solutions tailored for Cardano. It's designed to deliver market-leading launch pad capabilities, DEX tools, and liquidity pools. OkenFi is the first and most significant addition to Cardano's rapidly expanding DeFi ecosystem. The first component of OkenFi's ecosystem is its decentralized funding platform called OkenRaiser. Through this launchpad, the next generation of disruptive Cardano applications can undertake significant capital raising through OkenRaiser's RDO capabilities. Now, OkenFi has got a, a pretty, well, the OkenFi Association and the advisory board and the core team, very experienced. I definitely recommend you guys look into this one. I'm not going to go fully into these projects in these videos because I do like to make them fairly quick. But some really great partnerships with OkenFi, which is something I really like. I love to see that. And I was introduced to this project through their partnership with Meld. I've looked into it a lot. I definitely recommend reading their white paper. Their website is super sleek. I really, really like the the look of it personally. I think some people might find it a little bit confusing, but I really like the look of it. Now, I'm just going to go into some of their frequently asked questions, which I recommend you guys doing when you're considering investing in any of these projects. But OkenFi is just a really interesting one. And there's a launchpad participation guide. It's got a staking guide. And obviously, if you stake the OCC token, you do get access to some, the first priority access to some of these new IDO projects. So I definitely recommend doing that if you're going to invest in the project. Now, up next, guys, we have Card Starter. So Card Starter currently trading at the time of this video for $17.58, which is, I believe, down from its all-time high. Absolutely down from its all-time high of $75. So 
Obviously, you know, just to get back to its all-time high, it's got a minimum 3x. So this is the sort of stuff that gets me really excited because I think Card Starter is a really good platform. Do I think it's the absolute best launch pad of all time? No, I don't. But I think it's definitely a top three for Cardano. I think it's launched some really great projects. It's the first insured projects accelerator for Cardano. I really like the look of it. It's got some really great features and it's a platform for early adopters. Launch pads and accelerators can be a great avenue for trusted and vetted teams to gain early support and for donors to gain early access to projects. So launch pads are really important, guys, because this is how you get in early. I talk about being ahead of the herd. I talk about getting in on these projects before everyone else. But this is how you typically do it. You do it through launch, through IDOs, through pre-sales, through ISOs. And so it's really important to know which launch pads are good on each platform. So definitely Card Starter is one to look out for and they do launch some very good projects. And like, like all of these platforms, guys, if you, if you stake the cards token, then you are rewarded. Uh, so there's a bunch of things here that I'm showing to do with their staking pools and all that sort of stuff. And some of the features is a subscription model, it's an assurance treasury, token vouchers, auto lock liquidity, and cards accelerator program. So overall, a very interesting project. I think it had probably a lot of hype behind it when it first launched, hence the big price. But I still think that it's a really good project. They're hitting the mark with their roadmap. They're doing what they're saying they're going to do. And they, they've released some really good projects. So definitely one to watch. Read the white paper, good team, and lucky last guy is number three. And these are in no particular order, is Trustpad. So making DeFi a safer place. Trustpad is the safest launchpad and multi-chain. It's a decentralized multi-chain fundraising platform, enabling project to raise capital and promise safety to early stage investors. Stake Trustpad tokens to get priority access to promising projects. Now, Trustpad is only currently selling at 41 cents at the time of this video. Now, bearing in mind, guys, that this one here is quite new and I think it's doing... Look, the price is, is pretty decent, especially for a launch pad. You've seen the prices of Oakenfire. You've seen the prices of Cardstarter. Now, that is not to say that Trustpad will get to those prices, but I think... For a launch pad, 41 cents is quite reasonable. Now, of course, like I said, guys, some of these videos are pre-recorded, so the price when you watch this may be completely different. But I like the look of Trustpad. I it's for sale on Pancake Swap, quite funnily enough. And it's got some interesting projects on there. I still think it's early days, but this one here is is an interesting one. I think you should read the white paper, take a look at the team. And some of the features here that I really like, so it's fair and transparent, it's got rug proof mechan me mechanics, me mechan mechanisms, sorry, guaranteed allocations and high quality projects. NFT pad, so the NFT launch pad and marketplace, the ultimate cross chain NFT platform. So they're launching an NFT platform in Q3 of 2021. They couldn't be doing it at a better time because NFTs are absolutely exploding. So really excited about that. There's cross-chain integ integration. So with Binance, Smart Chain, and Ethereum integrated on day one and a clear goal to integrate Solana, Polkadot, and Cardano by Q4 2021, this integration allows projects to launch their Trustpad RDO simultaneously on both Ethereum and Binance Smart Chains. So I think that is a really, really key thing. And I believe that is also unique to Trustpad. Uh, they partnered with Chainlink and Genesis Shards. They've got a pretty impressive uh, advisory board, one of which is the Card Starter Labs advisor. He's also from, sorry, he's from Card Starter Labs. So they're backed by some, you know, some pretty impressive places. Genblock. AU21 Capital Wealth Union, all that sort of stuff. So these, these are all things that make me, you know, feel a lot of trust in this project. Now, the community, they've got 146,000 followers on Twitter, which is pretty cool. Now, they aren't a new platform, but they're going to be um, obviously migrating into Cardano, which I really like. So again, guys, one to watch, get the info, 
look at the team, read the white paper and invest wisely, of course. I'd love to hear your thoughts on these. Do you agree that these are the top three trust launch pads on Cardano? I'd love for you to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and as always, watch this space.